Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are, we're about to start off on another epic voyage with the Battle of the Atlantic. Yes, it's time to take up the um, the helm of the Kriegsmarine and see what joys we can have. A lot of people are saying, let's see if we can go uh, steady to begin with and see if we can't um, wait until the, uh, the Americans join the war and uh, then we'll have a real challenge. So let's just set our objective. This is going to be a, um, more of a challenge than with our first playthrough of the Kriegsmarine. So, let's do limited visibility. No enemy ships can disengage. Sorry, enemy ships can disengage. No enemy damage report. Okay. I wonder, hopefully that's going to be not, taken, not going to take too much away from the um, the weapons report. Dud, to, dud weapons. Wind effects player shells. Uh, elite enemy gunnery, yes. 50% renowned earn. Okay, okay. Historical ships only. Okay. Um, we could go shorter start range, but I think the longer start range is probably more realistic. We've got hard difficulty. Sunk ships recycled by the enemy. Uh, if we want to go for historically accurate, then we probably don't want that. And everything else is set as we need it. Good. Apply the changes. Badly of Atlantic. Can we change the date? No, we can't. Okay, let's start a new campaign then. And here we are. September 1939. Let's see what we have. We have the battleships Gneisenau and Scharnhorst, plus the destroyer uh, Z1 Liberec Mass. And down here we have the light cruiser Cologne and the destroyer Z2 George Steele. And down here we have the heavy cruiser Admiral Hipper, light cruiser Leipzig and Nuremberg, and Z3 and Z4 destroyers. Okay. Plus we have, oh hello, heavy cruiser Lutzo is down here. Also, we have the Admiral Graf Spey, obviously down in the South Atlantic, as was as she was at the time. Um, so we got, we're starting off with a nice number of ships. We've got U37 and U38 here in the Mid-Atlantic. We've got U-29 and U-30 in, uh, well, just off the um, Canaries. Oh, the Canaries are there, aren't they? Off the, um, oh, the Spanish Islands. <laughs> My brain. Um, Z-27, Z-28 in the uh, mid-North Atlantic. And we've got uh, Z-39 and Z-40 in the Western Approaches. Wonderful. Is that awesome? That's our lot. Right, let's have a look. Where are the... Convoy routes. Nothing reported as yet. That's fine. Um, so what I might do. Let's so I'm going to head you over to the Caribbean. And maybe you can get some oil tankers and stuff coming out of the Caribbean. Admiral Graf Spey. Well. Let's come over here to the African coast. And stop any um, shipping coming up from uh, Cape Town. Um. We're going to leave those U-boats there. That's fine. And I might spread these two out. Uh, the Gneisenau, now Scharnhorst and uh, Z1. Let's move you through the Denmark Strait. Uh, we've got Cologne and the Destroyer here. Um, I might bring those up here to the Faroe Isles as well. Uh, this mass group here... Um, That's, yeah, okay, this is quite a big task group. We need this to kind of quickly move should anything happen. So I'm going to put you, plonk you north of Norway there. And that will be our opening um, gambit, I think. Um, how much in the way of renown do we have? Where are our ports currently at this time? We have them in Kiel and Wilhelmshaven. We got a couple of um, resupplies in the Saragossa Sea and the South Central Atlantic. Is that where those two ships were by any chance? Oh, the U-boats are there. And that one's down there. Okay, good. So we've got some resupply ships down there, which is nice. So if we come into Kiel, um, how much do we have? We have 10,000 opening starts. Okay. We'll probably get a destroyer or a U-boat for that. Yeah, we can get destroyers. Torpedo boats. Uh, 2,000 for a uh, U-boat, and this is a um, Type 7. 
Type 9, 2600. Class 3, we don't have that yet. It's got another few years before we can get that. Um, okay, let's get a couple of um, more U-boats. Uh, I've got to hit the buy button, of course. U-41, and we'll buy U-42. There we go, that's half our renown gone. So um, we'll hold there for the time being. And we'll get those out into uh, the ocean as well. We'll push those two into the... Into the uh, UK waters, hopefully coming up here between the uh, island and the Welsh coast into the Irish Sea and get the ships coming into uh, Liverpool. Right. First action, nothing happening. Have we got? There we go. The first convoys are starting to come across the Atlantic now. So they're coming like that. So we got we got ships there, which is good. Uh, we can move these along a little bit. And have them start picking up. Now, we only get renown for sinking uh, warship tonnage. So it doesn't matter how much merchant tonnage we sink, we're not going to get um, points to spend on new ships. Obviously, we, we help us with the, uh, the tonnage war. But um, other than that, no. I'm going to bring them up there. Um, we'll move the, the Lutzo into... Caribbean and the Graf Spey will move down towards South Africa. Nice! Okay, we'll skip on because I doubt there's much going to be happening in the opening uh, couple of turns, which is um, playing out as I thought it would. Not much are happening. We'll sit him there in the Caribbean, that's fine. We'll sit them there and we'll sit them there. Okay. Okay, we're starting to see more ships, sometimes from Dakar now, so maybe we'll move the Admiral Grass Bay up towards Dakar. Maybe bring these two down as well. But not much is happening at the moment. Continue to move her. See, this is just the build up, the phony war, I suppose you could call it. Okay, yeah, the convoys are starting to become more and more frequent now. Nothing from South Africa, so yeah, we'll, we'll, ta we'll target Dakar and and up here. Those U-boats are not having much luck finding them. Guys down, Shan Horse will bring down here. We'll move the Cologne and the Z2 down here as well. Maybe I'll bring you. Actually, I'll bring you 37. I'm going to bring them up to the Bay of Biscay because obviously you're going to get some traffic coming from the Mediterranean up to the UK, aren't you? So we want to be capturing that. Okay, still not a lot happening in the world. We'll bring that U boat up there. We'll bring this U boat here. We'll continue to bring the heavy cruiser up there. There. She, oh, that was a good move. She went straight to Dakar. Um, Lutso's not having much joy in uh, the Caribbean. So maybe we'll bring her up the American coast just to scare all the holiday makers. I'll move them around a bit. So far, so good. No engagements. Wow, okay. I hope they have spawned in. Otherwise, this could be a lonely, <laughs> a lonely um, effort indeed. Right. Just bring these ships into the shipping lanes then to see if they can uh, find anything. The more ships we have in a square, hopefully, the better the search. But no, nothing. Nothing. Convoys are coming thick and fast now. Maybe we will move these ships down then through the Denmark Strait and hopefully get something. Still nothing. That's where you start to get worried that it's bugged. 
October, nothing happening. We haven't intercepted anything yet. Even though we've got all our task forces in the uh, in the area. Bring you two down there. I'll move you lot across there. And I'll move the Lutzo up there. Ah! Finally, we've found somebody. And it's quite the opening engagement indeed. So here in the Erminger Sea, the Admiral Hipper heavy cruiser, the light cruisers Leipzig and Nuremberg and two destroyers Z3 and Z4 have finally found a convoy of large freighters and C2 freighters which has been escorted by the heavy cruiser Berwick and the destroyers of Vampire and Vanity. We have the initiative, it's a morning attack October 1939. Here we are. Here it are. Do we have any U-boats? No, we didn't. Our U-boats weren't there. Right, where are the, the barracks there, the Vanity and the Vampire? That's the barrack then, is it? Yes, it is. Right. I don't think we're going to be able to cross the T, so we'll, um, we'll swing to the side. What do we have here? Eight-inch guns, and who we have over here? Here's the barrack. And she's a county class cruiser. She's got eight eight inch guns as well. Okay, so we're evenly matched. Evenly matched. Um, the wind is in our face. Elevation of 13. Uh, because the wind's in our face, let's notch it up to 13.4. Fire! short rubbish right Leipzig um, let's get all our guns to bear on the barrack we have uh, five and a half inch shells on here um, elevation 18.7 we're short on the last one so I may notch that up to 20 count the wind slightly Oh, and we're slightly wrong. Long, sorry. Wrong and long. I was right both times. Um, I don't want to run into the back of our uh, capital ship here. So, uh, oh, we do. We uh, we can spin the rear turrets, which is good. Twenty point seven. So, hang on. We fired from Leipzig, and that was twenty point seven, and that was just long, wasn't it? Back here, twenty point seven. Okay. That sounds doesn't sound too bad, does it? That sounds in the bull mark. 20.8. Give that extra nudge because the wind's right in our face. And we're miles short. Of course we are. And who do we have? Z3 here. Right, max speed. You get in there. Oh, I should have actually made them make smoke. Let's get some high explosives raining down on the, uh, the barrack. She reckons 20, so we'll go we'll go higher, we'll go 22.8. And we're slightly long. Okay, she's not really gonna protect anyone, but we'll get some smoke going as well. Should have done that from the lead destroyer, really. She's not gonna cover anyway. The barrack opens up! They miss with our opening salvo as well. Thank heavens. The vampire, the vanity, the vanity opens up. Full salvo towards one of the Z3. And the freighters run away. That's not a problem, right? So 13.5. Four, we were short by some distance. Yeah, so that needs what they're saying. Twelve point nine, they're saying now, are they? Are they really? That's what they're saying. We've closed in. They've closed in, but I don't believe that for a second. So I'm going to go fourteen 
seven. Oh, ho, 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 I was right to trust my gut feeling. That is a great first, but second salvo, sorry. Um, hold at the waterline as well. Penetrating shot. We don't get the damage report, but um, she's still operational and, and looks fine. Alright, let's move the uh, Levzig forward. Last time, 20, we were long. Yes, we were. We need to round that 14.7. That seems too much. So, again, I'm going to go about 17.4. Close but no cigar. Right. We've got to be careful that we don't have any dings here. The Nuremberg. 20.8 and she was short. Considerably short. 24.6. Okay. That seems more on the money. 24.6. Fire. Oh, and it's long. Now you... I meant to do this last time. You make smoke. And hopefully ca uh, cover our ships. Good, nice. Oh, of course, she's going to be sitting right between. <laughs> there she is. Okay, that didn't really work. Oh, I think she got a knit, well a hit underwater. Vampires firing after giving up making smoke. And the vanity opens up as well. Oh, this looks good. Hit into the uh, smokestack. And the freighters wiggle away. Any damage? Nothing to report. Good stuff. Right, we were bang on money last time. We've uh, closed in a little bit more. She's closed in a little bit more. So we fired at 14 point... Uh, 14.7, they reckon 14.5. Okay, that sounds good to me. Oh, fire around the bridge. Fantastic. Right, the Beric is lying over there. 16.3. 17.4, they said it was on the money. We have moved closer. 16.3 seems too much, Dan. So I'm going to drop it down to, say, 16. 16.6. Oh. Bit short. Bit short. Got the old snagging shot. Okay, we'll keep her going straight. And she should be good. Now, we have smoke in our eyes. Smoke gets in my eyes. Uh, we're going to drop that down a bit because we were long. Fire. Oh, hit right on the the uh, the sea turret there. All right, you better do a wiggle because they're firing at you. But you're going to make some smoke and hopefully cover our capital ship. Lovely. That's almost working. Beric is burning. And she did not fire. However, the vampire can see the target. And she's trying to pick out the destroyers. And she gets another hit on target. I know what they're doing. They're going to try and tempt me to get that lead destroyer to engage their destroyers but that will of course mean I can't see or I can't cover my ship now the Beric I believe is laying down smoke yes she is yes she is oh look at that we hit just beneath the bridge okay so last time we fired we were on the money that was 14.5 with uh They've closed in, we've closed in. Let's drop that down, say, to 14.2. Fire. Oh, 
hits and explosions in the smoke. Oh, she's listing. Is she? Maybe not. Maybe not. Now, were you on target? You mostly. Maybe we should target the um target the destroyer. Um Beric seems to be in trouble. She's not firing back at the moment, so we can we can afford to have the Lebzig target one of the um destroyers. In fact, if the oh, should we drop smoke? I don't know. Right, thirteen eight they reckon. What we don't want to do, you can see these destroyers coming towards us now. We don't want them to be able to launch torpedoes, so uh, we need to get them before they get us. Okay. Nuremberg will continue to fire upon the barrack. We were on the money last time with 22.9. If we drop that down to, say, 22.4... Oh, we're just long. We are just long. I'm going to continue the smoke. Continue the smoke. Because if I didn't, the barrack would then open fire next round. You can guarantee it. And we're in a comfortable position at the moment. So you've got these destroyers heading towards their destroyers. Yep, there we go. She's opened up. I'm glad we didn't drop the smoke. Oh, they hit our recon plane. Seems okay. Vampire opens up and misses. Ooh, the vanity's moving away. She's I think she's probably gonna go with the convoy for another hit into Oh, the destroyer's on fire. They're firing high explosives at us. The good news is if we can get past our smoke. There we go, we should be able to see the beret quite clearly. Uh, elevation 13.8, 14.2, okay. We go 39, somewhere in the middle. Ooh. Hits, but nothing grand. Uh, we're a lead ship, that's okay, so we can turn a little bit more. Um, the vanity last time we fired at 13.7 or 13.8. There's a bit of a differential there. But they're now 16.2. Okay. Yeah, we were. 16.2. Switch to high explosives. And we're long. As is always the case. You're short, you're long. And then you get somewhere close to it next time. Right, 21.3. 21.3. We were long last time, so that makes sense. Oh, that sounded painful. We got a bit of a fire going, but it just adds to the smoke they're trying to deliver, which is good. Beric's still opening up. Oh, she's going to score some hits. Oh, one hit. And oh, we got a fire. A fire on the cruiser. Vanity's still running away. But it's making her inaccurate against our destroyer, which is good. Small mercies and all that. Right, what's happening on here? Triple A is being damaged. Okay. Oh, apparently the smoke is still in the way of the barrack, even though I got a clear line of sight. There she is. Guns pointing straight at me. I suppose the destroyer is slightly in the way. Right, last time 13.9. We're going to drop that up to 14. Maybe 14.1. Fire. Oh, 
Oh, that is a huge explosion. Oh, I thought we may have taken out a turret. We took out some um, superstructure. She's definitely lower in the water. Look at the hits under the water line now. She's going to be sucking in some water. Oh, it's going over the... Oh, oh, she's she rolling. Is she rolling? No, not quite. She's rolled back. If I put... Oh. I think the barrack's in trouble, you know. I think the barrack is in trouble. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to take a nice little quick screenshot there. And, uh, yeah, lovely. Right, back to the Leipzig. Right, she's... Were you targeting the barrack or were you targeting... No, you were targeting the vanity, you were. Maybe we should concentrate back on the barrack. No, we're going to target on the... Um, the vanity. Um, 15.6. Fire. <laughs> Oh, that is a great hit. That is a great hit. The vanity's in trouble. I'm just going to pause a moment just to see if anything else happened. But no, right. Now, with the Nuremberg, we could pick up our firing at the Berwick. 17. 17, that seems quite a drop from 21. Um, I'll tell you what, split the difference. We'll come down to 19-2. The barrack's gone. She's sinking. She's sinking. That last hit was it. That was the last straw for this poor camel. Her back is gone. I know how she feels. The vanity is also sinking. Right, the vampire's now thinking within the space of two minutes. She's going, oh, crap. This has gone from bad to worse. That is a huge loss for the Royal Navy. Losing the heavy cruiser Berwick. She's not going to sink anytime soon, it would seem. Okay, good. So, anyway. We can um, dispense with making smoke then. The main problem, i.e. the Berwick, is uh, no longer the problem. So we'll target the vampire. Actually... I guess you could start targeting some of these um, freighters. And we'll let the uh, the heavy cruiser take out, and the cruisers take out the uh, the freight, uh, the, um, the what's we call it, the destroyer. Right, 19.5. We'll go 19.8 because we're always sh short to begin with, aren't we? Or we long to begin with. I don't know. Should have switched to high explosive, really. But we were long anyway. But no, we were short. I was right to go with we short, yeah. Right, move. And do you know what? I may not open up this time. We may save everything. The vampire's gone. Sorry, the vanity's gone. The vampire opens up and misses. And the barrack is still there. She's going to take a while to sink, I think. Which is fine. Which is fine. Um, let's try and blow her out of the water with these 8-inch guns, shall we? High explosives. Boom. Elevation 10.9. 10.8. Fire. We're short, but okay. Leipzig. Target the vampire. Elevation 12.4. Twelve seven. There we go. We'll go long to begin with. Now we got a hit. Nuremberg, you might as well target some of these destroyers. Get some high explosives in. Elevation twenty one point six. There you go. Twenty one point seven. Fire.
and we're short. Right, target the um, the vampire. Twelve point six. High explosive shells. Boom, boom. Just long. Ah, we might as well target the vampire. Seventeen point three. Just bring a lot of um, ammunition down on him. Seventeen seven will go. Slightly short. What's the vampire going to do? Is she going to be brave? She is going to be brave. She's going to engage the task group. Point blank. Loose her torpedoes, it would seem, is her plan. Beric is still hanging in there. Alright, we've crossed the T with the vampire now, so she's at such a disadvantage. 10.8, they reckon, is, is bang on the money. So I might just notch it up to 10.9. Fire. Oh, did I put high explosives or was that armor piercing? All I don't want to do is get her anywhere near our cruisers. 12.7 was long. Yeah, quite a bit long. Uh, ten, no, uh, no, let's go to 10. Fire. 10 is short, but it was longer than what they were predicting I should be firing at. So, there you go. Right, 25.5 then out. That's changed their mind. 35.6. Hits, but not much of a hit. Right, we're closing quite quickly now. 8.5. Eight five. Fire. Oh, we missed. How did we miss from there? 15-4. Don't believe it for a second. Right, let's go 15-9. Range was about right. Didn't quite get the angle of the dangle. Maybe slightly long as well. Oh, hello. You're firing our cruisers now, are you? Somebody wants a medal. Right, 9.9 .9, they reckon. Yeah, we were long last time. We'll go 10. Wind is directly in our face. It's all fire. Boom. I think she's gone. Let's give it a moment. Let the dust settle. Foam clear. Maybe not. Okay, eight point eight. They reckon. Let's bring the gun down. We'll go. We'll go nine one. Right. Nuremberg. You charge on. We need you to start picking off some of these ships. 26, I reckon. 26. 26 sounds good. Fire. Yep, she's ablaze. Right, you turn to starboard. I want you to sort of catch, go into the mix of those ships. 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. said that last time we missed, so I'm going to go... Large freight are sinking, there she goes. The vampire is sinking as well. Good. All... Oh, and the barrack is just about underwater. The bow is just above um, the water, right? 25. Let's give it a little bit more than that. Let's go 25-7. 
now we just need to um, wipe these ships out of the water and that will be a good day's work I think right let's target you who are you you're an MS large freighter you are 15.5 let's go a little bit more let's go 15.7 fire and we're short I'll bring you up to flank speed and we'll turn you starboard so you can sort of close in a little bit we'll also target that one 20.5 again we'll add a little bit more because we seem to be falling short on the first shot okay, we go long and wide on that one Eric's still there. Um, this C2 freighter 27.3. Let's get 27.8. Adjust for the wind. Here comes the cleanup crew, right? 17.8. Let's go up to 20. <laughs> Split the difference, okay. We won't necessarily, I don't really want to use the um, the torpedoes on these ships. Twenty-one five, it reckons. Well, I'll go down to twenty-three and see what that does. Just short. Well, they're turning back towards us, which is nice. Makes it a little bit easier. Right, sixteen point seven. I reckon. Add another notch. Okay, we'll do that. How short were we? Quite a bit short. I'm going to notch it up to say 17.1 then. Still wasn't enough. Still wasn't enough. Okay, uh, 19.1. Were we long last time? Yeah, we were. Okay, 19.1. Go 19.6 because I still don't trust it fully. That looks good. Ship ablaze. Uh, 26.9. They were saying the last one was on the money, but it was miles short. So I'm actually going to notch. I'm going to go against what they're telling me and actually add some more height. right to do so. Let's start the vampire there. Uh, elevation 16.8. 19, we were long. Okay, 16.8. That seems a little bit too much, but we'll go 17.2 perhaps. And there you go. The funnel's taking a pounding. Twenty one point five. Twenty three was on the money apparently. Twenty three was short, so I'm gonna not again notch it up a little bit. Oh. Maybe they were right that time. Maybe they were right. Ooh, boom. Fires breaking out. Big fires as well. Here comes the Admiral Hipper. Sixteen seven. So we fired at 17.1 and we were short, and they reckon 16.7 this time. We're not closing in that much. I'm going to go 17.1 again then. Actually, no, I'm going to notch it up to 17.3.
Boom! Got her. Wonderful. Right. Um, with her gone, let's target the next one. C2 Freighter, 21.8. What were we, we were firing? I reckon it's going to be more than that. I reckon it's going to be about 23. Just a bit less, and the wind had taken that a bit more than I expected, so wasn't too bad, eh? Wasn't too bad. Right, 25... 25.4. 25.7. Adjust for the wind. Oh, not going to quite make it. Uh, 15.3 15, 15.5 Far there and We'll move this destroyer in as well You might as well target the same one 19.3 uh, What did the other one fire at? I don't know Go 22.5 should have paid more attention, really. That's long. That's too long. Um, target this one at the back. A cool 20. Go 20 point... Let's add a little bit more. 20.6. High explosive shells. Whizzing their way. Can you play catch? We got one hit in. That ship's got to have gone, right? Yeah, she's gone. Was that the one you were firing at? Yeah, it was, and then... Okay. Well, maybe you target this one because the... Uh, Admiral Hipper is targeting that one. 21.5, so we'll start our opening salvo at 23. And work our way back if need be. Yeah. Uh, 25.3, they reckon. See, we were short last time. 25.9 They got lucky. They got lucky. Shells didn't quite land where we wanted. But apart from that, it wasn't too bad, right? 14.3, fire. So they fired at 14.3. So let's fire at about 15. 15.6. Oh, that's short. Oh, wow, okay. I thought that would be on the money. Right, 22.6. Well, we, we got a hit last time, didn't we? So... Let's add a few more. 22.6 seems too much. So I'm going to go 21.3. Wind's starting to have more of an effect, isn't it? Last time we were long. Apparently, yeah, we were. With um, So we're going to coming down to 20. That seems too much of a drop. Especially as we're firing longer distances into the wind. Got a fire going on that one. Lovely. And 23.6. Last time we were pretty much on the money with 25.8. So I'm going to stay at 25. Uh, 25.6. 7. Fire. I think we're okay. 
That should be... Mm, wind's taking it. Oh, just long. Thirteen point one. Thirteen three fire. Fire going on that one. So thirteen three, wasn't it? So a little bit, because we have closed in a bit more, so we don't want to be over raising the elevation. Oh we're still short though, bloody hell. Bloody hell, so we're taking making a bit of a meal of this. Let's turn the hipper in. Uh, I can't actually see the target now, which is a bit of an aw awkward one. Um, let's drop, dr let's drop it down a little bit. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Uh, Ninety, twenty-one. Last time we were on the money, she's pulled away from us. They reckon 19. I'm reckoning I'm going to fire again at the same range. Yeah. Twenty-four. Sorry, twenty-two four they reckon. Okay. That seems a little bit much. I'm going to drop it down to 23-4 maybe. No, I'm going to notch a bit more. 23.8. Nice. Hold her at the waterline. 12.1. Continue to charge in. Boom. Now, can we get actually... A shot anywhere near target with the second destroyer. Uh, never mind, that freighter's sunk. Stand down, no. Pick another target. You'll pick the one behind it. I suppose you can pick on this one. 19.3. Uh, we'll go 20. Fire. Try and hit something, please. Nope. Freighter's starting her roll. Ah, we can see the target this time. 18.5 is the estimate. We fired at 20.7 last time. Do you want to fire? I want to fire at the same... We'll fire at the same uh, range and elevation we did last time. There we go. Boom! She's gone. Only takes a couple of shells from the Admiral here, but... Is it just this one ship left, or is that, that one's left as well? Okay, she's pulling away. So I'm going to raise the... No, that one's gone. That one's just exploded. Switching to this one then. 20. Okay, we'll fire from there. Drop the elevation. 20.8. Fire. We're wide. Long and wide. I am right, there's only one ship left. Yes, there is. Just this large freighter. 18.2. Uh, I don't believe that for a second, so we'll go 21.6. 21.6 was on the money, just didn't quite get the angle right. Uh, 15.8. We'll go 16-4. Should have trusted them for once. So that's 18-3, that sounds about right. We'll go 18-5. Okay, Still haven't hit anything. They're going, oh, things have gone a bit bleak. Things have suddenly not looking so rosy as they were 10 minutes ago, right? Target that ship there, there we go. 19.9, let's go 20.2. Fire. Gonna be 
long. Seventeen five. Okay, seventeen five. Seems a bit much. We got eighteen one. <laughs> I'm constantly contradicting it. I don't trust it. There we go. I was right. I needed a few more notches, I think. Uh, what have we got around us? Okay, we can turn a tiny bit to port. Try and bring the rear turrets into the game. We have done. 21-1. Okay, we'll fire at 21-6 again then, I think. Boom. Good hits. Good hits. Now, can our little destroyer friends finish them off? 13.8. Uh, Were they long last time? Yeah, reasonably. Go 14.7. Yay, another hit. <laughs> she still misses. Bless him. Need to retrain the crew on that gun. Oh, on that ship. She's not in the best of days. Seventeen two. I don't think it's going to be that much of a reduction. So we go eighteen six, maybe. Got a snagging hit. Nineteen. Okay, we'll raise it up. Eighteen seven. We've closed in a lot on us in one turn, so. Boom! She's gone. She's gone, and that, my friends, is the first successful engagement. Lovely. So, oh, um, we sunk the Royal Navy's heavy cruiser Berwick for 10,500 renown, uh, the Vampire for 1,300, the Vanity for 1,300, MS large freighters for 7,800 apiece, and two C2 freighters for 5,500 apiece. The heavy cruiser Admiral Hipper received medium damage. She did take a, a one salvo, a couple of shell hits, didn't she? Light Cruiser Leipzig, Nuremberg, okay. Uh, the Destroyer Z3 Max Schultz also received medium damage after getting some shells from the um, Vampire and Vanity. The Z4 Destroyer, all okay. We sunk um, 13,100 tons of warships, which is what we'll get the Renown for, and 43,000 of merchant tonnage. Nice. We have our first red block on the tonnage war. Which is good, and we've had our first uh, honours in the uh, in the Kriegsmarine as well on this campaign. Fantastic. So we're going to leave it there for this time. Thank you for joining me on the start of a new adventure with the Kriegsmarine in the Battle of Atlantic. Trying to see what we can do. Now we're going to be, as I said, we're going to play it cautiously. So we can try and allow Britain to um, remain in the war. Uh, bef you know, so the Americans can join it and give us that real challenge. Last time we... Um, the Americans had just joined, and then we I think we um, forced them into uh, submission. So uh, it ended rather quickly. But yes, we're going to try and do that. It's going to be difficult decisions at times, letting ships go and that kind of thing. But um, we'll see how it goes. But thanks so, ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to this new series. Hit that thumbs up if you are. And if you haven't already, hit consider hitting that subscribe button. Tickle the bell so you don't miss any videos of the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.